All right, here we are guys with Cobbler Sunny. Today he's gonna be installing some toe taps on my few pairs of my Grant Stone boots. These are, uh, you got Triumph? Okay, Triumph toe taps. Wow, those things look solid. These are made of brass, right? Uh, they're actually, uh, they're steel, but, um, uh, like a brass, uh, yeah, coated, so. Okay, I gotcha. All right, so he's got it on the boot last there. So I've never seen this take place before, so this is really cool. Yeah, and, and as you can see, like, I got these and I walked probably five miles in them and my neighborhood has a ton of hills in it. And so as I was walking up the hills, I was really scraping the tip <laughs> off. So, so that's why I said, you know what? I intended to like maybe skip the Vibram protective soles uh, yeah. this time. Yeah, yeah and, and just try to see how the, how the sole wears down over time naturally. And, uh, but almost immediately the toes started wearing down. So I'm like, <laughs> Okay, well, I see all those really cool Triumph toe taps that you do, so I'm like, let's let's do some of those. Yeah, man, and I really like that shirt. That is cool. How, where'd you get that made? Uh, I had a friend that makes shirts, so I like a couple made. It's cool to not just know what a cobbler can do, but also like see it see it done wow very cool so what so what was that like setting the grooves so that the toe tap can fit into it yeah basically more or less? Um, i mean there's a lot of way of a uh, cobbler doing it i mean there's a little different way okay Some cobbler, they just put it like this and they just put a knife to it like right here or they use a pen to you know make a uh, mark but for me i use a tape wrap like tape on it because um okay. obviously it's easier for me to like guide through that actually makes a lot of sense you want to like carve out a groove before sticking it down in there yeah, and then, permanently. Um, after that, you know, after I do that, I um, I kind of goo the, uh, the part that meets the toe tap and the leather to make awesome. it flush. I actually cut that out first. What I do is like after I cut out, I just kind of fit it like this. See which part I need to, you know, carve more. So you can see like when you fit, it, it's kind of like you got a little more to go here and then on the sides. Okay. And after that, I just, you know, do it again. Right. Try okay. Try to fit it really good. I know there's like cobblers that just cut out one piece of leather, like you know, from here. Um, but for me, I like I actually enjoy cutting it like this. I mean, there's no wrong way to do it it's just you know what you know what the cobbler wants to do right there's more than one way to do it but I, I think your way of doing it it makes a lot of sense and it looks i think it looks better too so what do you use to hammer it in is it is it a nail or is it a screw okay yeah, yeah. kind of looks i use like a pin but um to punch a hole there first yeah and then i could uh, i use a like a brass type uh little mini screws i'm sure that's what our other Cobbler's used to. Steel toes. <laughs> Those will never wear through. <laughs> I actually put one on my shoes uh, a couple of days ago. Oh, you did? Yeah, it was my first one. Just oh, cool. Try it. How do you like it so far? Does it make like a cool click sound when you're walking? I haven't noticed that too much, but it actually feels more because I wear toes out a lot, so. You're like me then. Yeah. <laughs> we must walk the same. <laughs> like, I never wore the actual part of the sole, like I never had to replace the sole, I always wear the toes out. It's interesting the way everybody's boots wear out differently. You know, sometimes it's it's around the edges here that seems to yeah. wear off first. And it's just, it's just it seems to be different for everybody. But yeah, I would have never thought my toes were gonna wear out so quick, but. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also, I'm double jointed. So naturally my feet wanna turn inward. I was basically trained from a young age to consciously remember to point my toes forward. Yeah. Because if I don't, then my feet are, they turn inward like a duck. <laughs> I have to watch that. But yeah, for that reason, like I have a weird stride already.
Helen under this like every single week. Oh really? Yeah, he brings one pair every week. <coughs> yeah, he puts the JRs on them. I, w I wonder why every week. That's that's kind of funny. He must have a huge collection. I think he does. Um, he's been bringing it for I think since last summer. Oh wow, really? Yeah. So since then, like every single week, I he's been bringing like. Uh, helping me a lot <laughs> right right for sure well he's obviously happy with the service and with the uh the work that you put into him you know when i come in and come and get a new pair of boots or shoes that you worked on it's like it's like getting them new again if that makes sense you get that feeling when when your boots arrive you know in the box fresh to your house when they're brand new and that's an amazing feeling and it's cool because they're they're better than they were when i brought them in so <laughs> that's that's what i uh, that's what i love about it it's like when I had you shine up my uh, my Shell Cordovan Alden boots in, in Burgundy Shell Cordovan. Yeah. Man, they look brand new. Like <laughs> you couldn't even couldn't even tell that I ever wore them. <laughs>
Man, that is, that's outstanding. Yeah, they look utterly brand new. Like, <laughs> couldn't tell the difference. Dang, that one even has a chunk out of, taken out of the sole there. <laughs> that's what I hope to do to some of mine. I could see it, you know, on your Instagram that you, I mean, your toe taps, they're flawless. And that's, that's what got me thinking about it, because, you know, I didn't have any toe taps, and so I wanted to bring mine in and have them done by you, because... I actually have, um, I actually have one customer that comes in here, um, he's on Instagram too. I think his Instagram ID is uh, Serato Baltimore. Oh, interesting. I don't think I've heard of him. I'll, I'll have to look him up. Um, he brought like seven to eight pairs at one time. Like he brings it every week too. And I, I probably did like fifty or sixty pairs of his. Oh my God! Really? Yeah, he got a lot of shoes. <laughs> That's and they're, awesome. And they're all like they're all expensive ones, you know? Right. And it's just amazing what you know how many pairs he has. Yeah, that is. But incredible. they're really nice. It is it is amazing, you know, like some of these people, because when they find a good cobbler, they know they, they get into the routine. Protective soles. Whenever I get a leather sole shoe, I just bring them I just bring them right into you and you know keep it keep it rolling like that. But yeah, I'm excited to try out these toe taps. All right, here we go, cobbler Sunny, all done with these boots now, and I gotta say I am highly impressed. The toes were actually worn down, so he added a little bit of leather there that you can see to smooth it out, make it make it flat. And I gotta say, that's a job well done, sir. You are the man. Well, do you want to kind of describe like how you added the leather to it? Because yeah, the, the toes were actually so worn down that just putting on the normal toe taps, it was they were gonna be sort of off center. Yeah. So, so um, I added a uh, JR leather uh, scrap. Uh, basically to the toe um, and I sand it down a little bit so that you know when you put the tips on there's no spaces in between yeah. okay. cool and these leathers are pretty uh, like a soft leather type so it was actually better to uh, use like a JR right there give you more uh, support right that makes sense yeah. yeah and JR that's good stuff well man they look excellent all right, so in closing, I just wanted to give some thoughts on my initial impressions of the toe taps since having them installed. So I've walked around each pair, all three pairs, uh, so far once, and almost immediately I could tell a huge difference between the Vibram rubber protective soles that I'm used to having installed and the toe taps. And what that difference is, is in the flex of the leather sole. I notice a huge improvement in comfort and when I walk around, it's a lot easier compared to the rubber soles. Now, I've gotten comments over the years from some of my viewers saying that, you know, when you put those Vibram rubber protective soles on your leather soles, you ruin the, the shoe or boot. And I never understood what they meant by that. But now I think I'm starting to understand why they would not favor those Vibram rubber protective soles. It's because it doesn't allow the sole to flex as well. And I have to say, after just just a few wears on these now, I have to agree, actually. <laughs> it's a lot easier to walk around in these now, and I'm much more prone to reaching for these in the morning now because I know that they're just going to be so much more comfortable throughout the day. Whereas I do think that those some of my boots and shoes with Vibram Protective soles on there um, have prevented me from putting them on from time to time. So... Moving forward, I'm actually gonna be using the toe taps instead. Um, here I am just showing off the flex and how, how much easier it is to move around in them. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. I am on Instagram if you wanna follow me there. My username is LV and uh, Cobbler Sunny, he does accept mail-in orders. So if you're not in the local area, you could always send your boots or shoes into him. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys and I will see y'all in my next video.